what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overload here since i'm a halloween ends in this video here today and talking about hawkins once again uh frank hawkins who we know is played by will Patton in the halloween series for the david gordon green timeline so the last video i did with he with his, that care to be mentioned was regarding his return since we haven't had an official announcement that will Patton will be back but it was obviously of course like pretty obvious that he would be back that was the expectation but again it was not very clear if it was actually going to be a thing it was just the obvious assumption to make because of how he's been factored into the last two movies so shout out to you scott and i'll leave a link to your channel i did see your comment and i did watch your video and it did get me thinking that i would like to know what everyone else thinks about them doing this and if they think it would work or if they don't want to see anything like that and they just want to keep michael myers separate from people no connections whatsoever so the idea that scott brought to my attention and again i watched your video thought it was good i saw you bring up the idea of hawkins being michael myers brother and that being a twist that they could reveal, I guess, in Halloween Ends. Now, the motivations for, I, I believe I heard you express for why you think this could be the case is going off of the flashbacks that were shown in Halloween Kills and Hawkins' guilt over Myers and not killing Myers. Michael Myers having the opportunity to kill Hawkins and walking away when the opportunity was right there. The fact that Michael, I think someone pointed out maybe in your comment section, Michael's, Michael's uh, neck wound and Hawkins' neck wound in the original 2018 movie might be their way of hinting at where they're going with these two characters. There's obviously a lot of feelings that Hawkins has towards Myers as we see in Halloween Kills and learn about after the events of 2018. Do I think it's going to lead to them being revealed as siblings? No, I do not. I do like where you were going, though, in terms of how you were thinking outside of the box and just considering other things about what they could potentially do. Now, if they were to make Hawkins and Michael siblings, I wouldn't be upset about it. I just also don't think that they are going to do that just yet. I think, you know, if anything, it's one thing to ignore the sibling dynamic that was already existing between Lori and Michael. Why ignore that to only introduce a new one between Michael and Hawkins? I feel like that's what a lot of fans would end up saying. And again, I'm not saying that the idea of them being siblings is all the way bad or anything like that. I just think that, you know, you'll have those sections of fans who will say, well, if you're doing this with Hawkins, why didn't you just keep Halloween 2 1981 canon? Why didn't you just do that? Why didn't you just let them be siblings with Lori and Michael? Why did you have to switch it up and give him a brother instead of a sister? Uh, I do see where you were coming from with the ideas of, you know, Michael had a chance to kill him and he didn't. And then also, of course, outside of the Myers house in the flashback where he stops Loomis, I believe, from shooting Michael in the head. And his explanation for that was all I could think of was there's someone's baby boy inside of this monster. Now, honestly, like you mentioned, after everything Michael has done, I can see why you might find it unbelievable to consider how someone could think that after all this carnage Michael has caused. But someone with a big enough heart could consider stuff like that. Someone with a big enough heart who doesn't really want to kill anyone. They just want to protect their community without killing anyone. They, I could see them stopping something like that. The idea behind it, though, that it could be something bigger and that's just him kind of trying to project his own knowledge of what he knows about his connection to Michael. I do like that aspect. Uh, maybe he, again, is indeed Michael Myers brother. He knows that and he's just not he, he doesn't have the heart to kill to kill the shape. He doesn't have the heart to kill his own brother. It's a secret he's living with why he's living with it instead of revealing it. I guess that would be something we would find out after we find it out in Halloween ends. If it ends up being true and we can go from there with that. But all in all, I just don't think that that's the route they are going to ultimately take. And I am curious to know what you guys listening to this think about them making hawkins and myers siblings if you would be down for that if you would be against it why or why not do you not want michael to have any siblings since they already went ahead and erased his connection to Lori? you know again the argument could come up why did you erase that only to introduce this <laughs> so and again it's not to say that they couldn't write something that's well written with their own sibling dynamic but i know a lot of diehards are going to be like oh you should have just kept them related michael and laurie that being you should have just revealed that in your own unique way in your timeline hawkins and michael myers being brother being brothers i'm not against it i also just do not think that's the route they're going 
if it happens, it happens. I would have to judge it for how it's presented to us and what justifications they try to bring as to why they went that route. And also, I guess, exploring, I guess, Hawkins a little bit more, too, because then again, he would be in the same boat, I guess, as Lori was. You know, that must have been another kid present during the night of his older sister dying, put up for adoption, grew up in Haddonfield, probably found out sometime after his early probably found out sometime in his early adulthood that Michael Myers was his sibling and just has been living with it for all these years for one reason or another instead of coming out and expressing it to somebody hasn't tried to look up his his blood family because again the Myers moved out of Haddonfield I assume and so many different questions that would be raised if Hawkins is indeed revealed to be the brother of Michael Myers uh, but definitely a twist that I don't think a lot of people would see coming and by a lot of people I would of course that would only be applying I guess to those who are not watching this video <laughs> and go into Halloween ends completely blind don't know anything haven't watched any theory videos like this or anything like that but the whole concept of them reintroducing the sibling dynamic but this time switching it up and giving Michael Myers a brother instead of a sister they can easily do that if they want to if they if that's the vision and the narrative they want to tell go ahead the only problem is can you effectively sell your audience on it is your audience going to respond positively to it because the way you can make this work is by again writing something very compelling writing something that's coherent writing something that's backed up by other things that have happened in the last two movies and if you somehow can intertwine a lot of bits of dialogue and other things we've seen from Hawkins and justifying it that way to why this revelation makes sense then you'll win over some of your audience now despite all of those reasonings for why it makes sense you are still going to have those audience members and those fans who say they shouldn't have done that and they should have done this if they were going to just still do the sibling dynamic and I get where both parties will be coming from me again personally I don't think that's the route they're going to take I also am not against it and again Scott I did enjoy your video I'll leave a link in the description for those of you who want to see Scott's video about his justifications for why Hawkins could be Michael Myers' brother. Uh, but let me know what you guys think about all that down in the comment section below. Would you like something like that to be revealed? If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe. Turn on post notifications. You can never miss a video. In the description, I have links to my social media accounts on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course. Let me know any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. With all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.